Genius is an exquisite form of torture. What does that mean? That's what I asked myself eight months ago when I started this project. The Picasso project is what I call it because Picasso was a genius. And although he was a genius, he was also a very troubled man, plagued with pain and self-torture. So what I wanted to find out was, why do great artists have to torture themselves to create great art? I mean, look at myself. Are the documentaries that I create any better than a painting by Picasso? Could they be? Sure, maybe. So to answer this question, I looked at the life and art of my best friend, Paolo. He reminds me so much of Picasso. Not only is he an amazing artist, but he also put himself through so much. And although he could be disgusting and lazy at times, when he worked, it was breathtaking. And it was this quality that first inspired this documentary and these questions. I can't. I can't paint. Why Pow. not, Paolo? Why can't you paint? I need a woman's inspiration. Yeah. I need a muse. Well, oh, hey, tonight at the cafe, mm -hmm. our roommate Lewis is giving a poetry reading. Lewis is not a woman. <laughs> no. But there will be women there. I okay. can't find a muse. Yeah, you can. There will be lots of muses there. Okay. Well, I just, I'm just gonna finish the sketch. Paolo, how can you work like this? I just walk in the dangers of places, its mystical graces, unheeding the fear. Remember these days in Bushwick. The kiss on the walls and everyone knew. Each morning we pray for the sun, bitten by winter chill and by flies. My brushes all froze and paint stuck to the cans. I light a cigar and the smoke turns to ice. The perfume of love making wafting the rooms as we run through the halls to show hearts to each other. In cafes, poets make music of words, all painters make pictures on the walls and on the floors, and to master our visions on napkins and streets, on any damn surface we can find a moral Like fools in the heat and the cold, our work is our lives, and we'll never grow old. These days in the field, our kingdom on the hill, our art, our magic lingers here still. Have nothing. But I have it all. I'll take my fingers.
Time to go. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming to my poetry reading. This last poem is for Nina. Hit it. Woman, you are everywhere. You rise, the water unfolds. You lie down, the water expands. You blow bubbles of silence in the wilderness of noise. You sing nocturnal hymns on the rainbow strings. You abolish all roads, woman. You bring into the world a body always the same, your own. Thank you so much. My name is Lewis Cartwright. Tip your waiters. How are you? I'm good. You were brilliant. <laughs> Thanks. Deidre, thanks for coming. Thanks for inviting. Did you enjoy? Yeah, sure. Any uh, critique? <laughs> OK. Um, <laughs> too tender. <laughs> what? Oh, too, too tender. tender. <laughs> too tender? I just think that women love to be adored, but not too tender. I'm not speaking to someone. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Um, pain can be sweet. Pain can be sweet. I'm well aware of the fact that pain and pleasure can coexist. What intrigues me is, does pain have to accompany pleasure? Or can pain be the pleasure? What do you think? Pain can be the pleasure. And you are. Oh, uh, 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 Deidre, this is our roommate. Paolo. Hello. Paolo. Paolo, <laughs> Paolo this is my friend Deidre. She's a surrealist yeah. photographer. Surrealist. Is that how you choose to be introduced? <laughs> I prefer mysterious. Yeah. That will be the thank you. Mysterious. Paolo, that was the gallery <laughs> calling. We need to go down there now. I need you to come to my studio so I can show you some of my work. Tomorrow, seven. Tomorrow, seven. Paolo, <clears throat> we need to go now. Come on. Sorry. Um. Uh, I like it. You do? I like it. Are you coming trouble. over? <laughs> of course, I'm coming over. Okay. Come on. Uh, Paolo <laughs> is sweet, but. You don't like to be treated too tenderly, yeah, so... Yeah, <laughs> you're not gonna have a problem there. Paolo doesn't treat anyone too tenderly. <laughs> don't worry, I'll manage. Serious. Oh, God. Paolo. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're gonna get going. Uh-huh. But thank you for coming. Can we walk you to the train? No, no, I'm fine. Just go. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. See you, Deidre. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. I think you should keep up with your valuables a little more closely. Uh -huh. Where are you going? Home, Queens. Would you like an escort to the train? I can use an escort. <laughs> Touch. 
a series of interviews asking questions to my friends, fellow artists, and the first question I asked to them was, what makes a great artist great? I think a great artist has magic. They have this unique perspective on something universal. It draws people in and it lingers with them. I think Paolo has that magic. Not all of his work is pretty to look at, but you just want to see more of it. It feels almost dangerous, but who doesn't like a little danger? What about you? What? Yeah. No. Lewis, stop. I don't. So, Scorsese, what makes a great artist great? A great artist has to have confidence in his own subjective vision to be able to keep pushing forward. There are rules and guidelines in place, and when an artist isn't afraid to break those rules, to stray away from line and shape and form, like Picasso did, that's when something truly memorable is made. That's what a great artist is. Okay? Change is like smoke until it fades. It's uh, 
It's that inner self, that, that, that layer beneath that has to be expressed. I mean, you're studying Picasso. That's a man who understood this in depth. He understood that who we are at our core does not change nearly as much as who we appear to be or who we want to appear to be. So just, I mean, let the model dissolve into thin air. Her essence like a perfume throughout the painting. My only question is, does a painting have to look realistic to be true? Well, no, of course not. Of course not. Do you know what you just said? A painting does not have to look realistic to be true. In order for a painting to look true, it has to be true. And that's why a Picasso turned classical painting on its head. And that's why a Paolo original turns modern painting on its head. This is what I paint Simon. The attitude of who she is. The shape of her feels what lies within her hands, her skin. What we see is ancient news. What we perceive, that's what's true. Close your eyes and feel the contours in the dark that is her. Paolo, don't you think I see the wonder you have made of her upon your canvas? process, it really looked at the heart and soul of the thesis of this project. What is it about pain and torture that sparks creativity? For the audience, it's very exciting because they can leave the, the, the show or the exhibition and they can just shake it off. But for us, for the artists, we have to feel it, we have to have a truth and a compassion and the experience of getting to that point can heal or it can destruct and I think in relation to Picasso, he was torturing himself and torturing other people and he thought that he was filling himself with a rich palette of, of emotion and feeling that he could express through his brush strokes but really all he was doing was, was speeding down the road to self-destruction. I mean, I know he's a genius and everything but where do you draw the line? I had this writing professor in college who told us that art is therapeutic, but it is not therapy. I think that's true. I think some artists tend to forget that. It's like they feed off of pain to create great art. Before I graduated, that same professor told me to go out into the world and get my heart broken. That seemed masochistic. Why would I want that? Oh. That's the name on everyone's lips. <laughs> Hi. Hi. You're late. I am late. Mm -hmm. I said seven. It's 7.15. You should fix your watch. You should be on time. <laughs> I need to put my bed somewhere. You can put it by the chair. By the chair? Yeah. And... My jacket? Where should I put it? You can put your jacket on your chair.
photo, bro. That's okay. You don't have to. <laughs> Look, we just met. Can't take x-rays of my soul. My camera's eye will show me who you really are. You'll find my soul to be as clean as a baby. Oh, uh, really? Because I heard you're quite a devil of a man. <laughs> Aren't all geniuses difficult? I don't know. I've never met one. You're about to know one deep. What can you do that anyone else can't do? I create a way of seeing that wasn't there before. What does that do to little old me? Let me paint you. Show you a woman you didn't even know was there. Make you immortal. What do you think? It's perfection. It's, it's shit. Everything perfectly balanced, naturalistically represented. It makes me sick. Take off your clothes. What? Don't waste my time. Just take off your dress. It's not a hand, okay? What is it? She... She said. She's really said. And those jagged shapes... <laughs> she's not me. She is you. I tell her who Deidre is. She's a photographer. An artist in her own right. A fighter against the tyranny of enforced perceptions. Not this whipping piles of
<laughs> You're a dick. I'm fucking with you, man. I just wanted the chair. How have you been, man? Been good. Working the last few weeks. You know. Yeah. Yeah. With uh, Deidre. Deidre. She's yeah. been here every day for three weeks. She's been here quite a bit. So what is she? Is she like your, your girlfriend? She's or? my muse. <laughs> She's your muse? Yeah. Is she your only muse? Right now, yeah. Why do you care? Like, what, what, what's... Why, I'm why? just curious. You're curious bullshit. You've never expressed uh, a curiosity in my love interest, huh? I mean, is this just a newfound curiosity, or... I mean, do you want me to, like, concentrate on Deidre so I can stop fooling around with Nina? Yeah. Actually, I was hoping Nina and I could be exclusive. No, I, 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 I'm, I'm fuzzy about something. Why were you okay with that in the first place? I mean, you know, the whole open relationship, you, Nina, her with me. I don't know. What? But I... I just want to be with Nina. Uh -huh. Just me and her. Just you and her. Does she know that? Did you tell her? Not yet. You should. Hey, you guys. Hey. Hey, hey. I'm out without you. <laughs> no. Hey. Hey. You okay? Yeah, we're yeah. good. Like, oh, good. No. <laughs> Don't stop. down to the gallery. I you? need you to take my paintings to the gallery. I'm going to work with Deidre today. Mm. <laughs> oh, have, have fun. I love your form. <laughs> You're like my unsolved mystery. I've worked with you for years. You know that? I'm sick. I have the right to stretch, okay? <laughs> no, you don't. No. You have no rights. You have given yourself over to me, body, and soul. Yes, I have yours. And I regret every moment of it. <laughs> Love is hell and women are witches. They need to be contained in their own agony. <laughs> now sit. <laughs> of course, again, the same story. What? Uh, what? Well, that is you. Oh, come you don't on. like it? That is, I love it, but it's not me, okay? If that's me, I really don't recognize myself anymore. It's not your job to recognize yourself. Oh no. My job is to sit here for hours while you search out the most devastating hidden animations of me and make them visible to the world. That's my job. Your job is to be perceived, Deidre. To help me unfold. Oh, You're my muse. Before that, I was amused to myself, okay? I have my own work. You don't need your own work. I don't need my you own work. You are going to be worshipped. All over the world upon my canvas. People are gonna know your name. They'll know your face. They'll speak about you. You don't understand. That is what makes a life worth living. Not if you were good or bad, but if you're known, if your art is spoken about, if it's sold, your face is gonna be an expensive work of art. Simon! No, don't Simon, come here. Simon in a book. Oh. Come here. Look at that and tell me you if don't you have don't see nature. Simon, please. It's really good. It's yeah. good. And it's <coughs> well, the 
the white on the black makes look like the negative of a photograph, which is what Deidre does. Uh, oh, come on. It looks like Deidre's influencing you. She does not influence me. She inspires me. There's a difference. What is that difference, Paolo? Influence happens by proximity. You can be near somebody long enough to start doing things like them, but inspiration is instantaneous. When I first met Deidre, she inspired me. She still inspires me to paint her, to sketch her, and express her in ways she can't even express herself. So she's inspiring what you paint, but not how you paint it. You know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to take these paintings down. Do you want me to tell them about your new negative photograph painting? No. All right, I'll see you later. You <laughs> follow yours. What was that? That was Simon attempting to no, be sarcastic. No, 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 I'm not talking about Simon, okay? I'm talking about Nina. Nina? Yeah. What, you objecting to Nina fucking Lewis? No, <laughs> not Lewis. Call me. You met me. Yeah, yeah, I knew that. Come on. But I, 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 it was fun, okay? But now I can't take this anymore, okay? I need it to change. I need you. I need you. What, what, what do you want? I want you, I just want you. Just, no, 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 that, that's not how I work. That's not how I operate. I'm not one of these monogamous okay, okay. roses at your door. I'm not asking for roses at kind of guy. Door. Look, 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 come here. We're making great art together. You don't understand that? I know. Look, I have never ever created like I'm creating now with what you inspire, inspire me to do. Like, I, but look, if I'm going to do that, I need to be but you are free. Let's be free together. You can be free with me. That's what I'm saying. You don't understand. Damn it. I'm going to be completely unfettered. Able to do what I want. Go where I want. Fuck who I want. And I don't need any pressure. Any suppression from you. Or judgment. You don't get that? No. I don't. Fuck it then. Go. <laughs> Fuck it.
Why don't you want to? <laughs> Look, underneath every great photographer is a great painter. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Who said that? Paolo said that. Paolo said that. Of course, Paolo said it. <laughs> Come here, I'm gonna show you.
it's great. Yeah, it's it's great. Okay, um sure. Later? Um yeah, sure, I can I can pass by later. Okay. You too, bye. Who is that? He was the owner of the gallery. He wants my work instead of bubbles. He said yes. He said yes. That's great. Yep. Uh, congratulations. That's that's huge. Thanks. Please don't say anything to Paul before I do, okay? But when are you gonna talk to him? Whenever I see him, maybe. Didn't come home. Yeah. Okay. Well, I gotta go, but. Congrats. Yeah. Yeah, have a good day. Nina? Do you love me? Trust me.
just can't stay. So go and be free. Don't worry about me. Life goes on. You deserve. No one's home. Yeah, no. Hello. Yeah. Okay. Okay, fine. Uh, if, if not this exhibit, how about the next one? All right, okay. Um, who's taking this exhibit then? So, who was that? That was the gallery owner. What did they want? They're taking your paintings out of the next exhibit. <laughs> what? They found someone else. A photographer. A photographer? Whose photography is better than my paint? Deidre. <laughs> Deidre? How the fuck did they get Deidre's photography? down to the gallery, I, I brought along a couple of her photographs. Just, just a couple to you know, help her out, I mean, she's got a lot of potential. And, and, you know, I mean, and we've done this a thousand times before, and, and I just wanted to help her out a bit, and we had the agreement with the, with the gallery, and I mean, this wasn't, this wasn't supposed to happen. Oh. You have no idea how to be a friend! What? Who the fuck talked you about royalty? Hello. You're supposed to be my Hello. best. Friend, you understand? He's supposed to support me in my work, my work, above everybody else's. We can't be this together. What the fuck? You're not even a real artist. You don't even catch a little camera. Just walk around here with everybody else. I love you, friend. I love you, artist. What the fuck? How long have you been talking to? You're talking to? I am your best friend. I wouldn't do anything to hurt you. You've just been throwing the rest of us around, painting us in these broken, jagged shapes, and all you're doing is covering up the fact that you're the most broken one of us all. I heard what happened last night. What, the way you treated Deidre, what you said to Lewis. You've been out of control these past few weeks. This isn't the Paolo that I know. This isn't the Paolo that I'm friends with. We need to talk. Paul, look at me. You've been busy. I've been what? You've been busy. Like a lot of bees. Busy. Hmm? I've been busy, yeah. Yeah. What, hmm? what do you mean? Snapping your camera, catching the light as it falls. Hmm? What are you trying to say? Getting the attention of gallery owners. Huh? Who told you? Who getting told your you? Work, getting your work premiered instead of mine? It's not like that, okay? I came here to talk to you. I can hear to talk to you. Yeah, let's talk. I'm not talking to you. Let's talk.
was my pain and my torture. And oddly enough, it put me back on track for not only the documentary, but also my life. So when I ask myself what it means to say genius is an exquisite form of torture, I understand. Paolo was a genius. That much is clear. And like all geniuses, he had his pain, which allowed him to create great art, for which he will always be remembered. <laughs> 